says, that is a blessing, I will bless. I will bless thee, Abraham, and in multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the stars. Everybody say, as the stars. In heaven. And as the sand upon the earth. So basically, as God's speaking to Abraham, he's actually, interesting time of day, he's speaking this because it's daylight, and if you've ever been outside in daylight and you look up and and to try to find a star, you won't find one, typically in the daylight. And fixedly at this particular time that Abraham is making, uh, and and, uh, making his ear available to hear God. He's tuned in. And this covenant's being made with God, and, and he's listening, and I'm sure he's kind of like us. He's thinking when he looks up, because God says, hey, I'm going to make a covenant. Your descendants are going to be as many as the stars in the sky. Abraham's looking up thinking, hmm, I know I saw him last night. I just don't see him now. The point of time is somewhat off. And sometimes we can be moved in a place in our emotions and feelings that points of time almost are off to where we can't hear the truth. But the truth is the stars were still there whether he could see them or not. Just as if we walk out of here today, the stars are still there in this day. But God, basically what God is telling him is, I'm going to make your descendants spiritually as many as the stars in heaven. Because in the heavens, he's talking about spiritual principles. But then he takes and he discloses another layer because he says, and I will also make your descendants physically fleshly as many as the grain of sand here on planet earth 